So I got a smack for clocking motors. It happens to the best, doesn't it? Do you remember that 3.8 Jag? That was a bona fide repair. It was about as bona fide as a two quid note. You are in a wounding mood this morning, Terence. You got any coffee? I mean, 1,100 quid. I mean, that, is, that, that, that is draconian. That, that, that is what? Well, magistrates. We haven't seen the likes of that since Hitler gave up house painting. Got a customer. What? You know, Lord. He looks like I feel. Oh, my God. What does he want? Good morning, Mr. Um... Rushma. Rushma, 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 of course. What a day, eh? Ah, what a pity we can't bottle it. Still providing you with sterling service, I deduce? I've only had it two months. Nearly three, sir. I am cursed with total recall. Three months is Friday. So it's still under guarantee? The Arthur Daly Golden Handshake Guarantee is as sound as our city institutions. Three months. Three clear calendar months it is. Do I, uh, do I detect a hint of inquiry appertaining to such? Mr Daly, would you come with me, please? You know, selling you that vehicle caused me considerable domestic upheaval. Yes, her indoors, my good wife. She had her eye on it. She wanted it something terrible. I said to her, no, no, my dear. Mr. Rushma is a gentleman, and he deserves a gentleman's conveyance. I must say, you have amazed me, Mr. Rushma. I would not have believed this could be presented in better nick than when it left here. The gleam, sir, the gleam. That puts a roll at the shame. I am impressed. Mr. Daly, would you mind looking here, please? Where? Here. Closely. Well? Oh, extraordinary. Looks like some sort of flora. Grass, Mr. Daly. Grass. Growing grass. I trust this isn't some sort of hoax or G-up or leg pull, is it, Mr. Rushmer? I mean, I am noted for my sense of humour. <laughs> Where is he? Who? <laughs> very good. Very good. Very convincing. What do you want about? Well, it's, uh, it's game for a laugh, isn't it? I don't know what... You know, when he... Geezer with insurance salesman smile. Leaps out, stuffs a microphone up your bugle and informs five million people what a lemon you are. <laughs> There's grass growing out of my car, Mr. Daly. What a leaking sump. Dodgy clutch, even a rumble in the transmission. They are certainly encompassed by our agreement, but uh, horticultural phenomenon. I don't know what I can do. Have you tried trimming it with nail scissors? I want this seen to. Look, I, I don't want to appear obstructive, Mr. Rushmer, but in a strictly legal sense, this would appear to be of a very complex nature. Are you going to do something about this? Well... Or am I going to report it to the Fair Trading Authority? Uh, no, 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 no. Do not let us be hasty. I'm sure we can come to some mutually compliant arrangement. Mr Daly, my brother-in-law's a local magistrate. Oh, that is interesting. Only yesterday he fined a motor trade dealer over a thousand pounds for sharp practices. At, uh, Mary Lebone. You read about it? I did indeed. I was saying to my colleague, Mr McCann, just a moment before you arrived, how imperative it is to maintain standards, weed out the riffraff, the cowboys. And the grass. And the uh, grass. Shall I leave the keys? Leave it? Oh, oh yeah, yes, 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 indeed. I'll have it dealt with by my specialist body shop, post haste. When can I collect it? Shall we say a week? Tomorrow. Afternoon? Before lunch. Another satisfied customer.